Okay, for me, uh, half of the prostate operations are done unnecessarily. Look at here, we are now making a prostate operation and there are too much infection is coming out from the prostate. Look at this. If this patient was treated uh, with prostate massages and these infections cleaned properly, maybe this patient would need no uh, prostate operation. Look at the infections inside the prostate. So I recommend anyone who will have a prostate surgery to have the prostate massage uh, before the procedure and get rid of the infection. Here, now in prostate operation, I am cutting a tissue, cutting, and we see these infections. Look at this. Maybe this patient would have too much uh, benefit from the prostate massage. He has a lot of infections. So anyone, uh, I think, who has enlarged prostate and prostate biopsy negative patients and anyone after age 40 should try and begin these therapies. Look at these infections. This, these are, this uh, operation may be unnecessary if this patient had been treated properly maybe he would not need this operation. I can see the infection everywhere. I cut a tissue, look at this. Look at this infection. So, this is not a real prostate enlargement. Half of it is prostatic infection. And the only treatment for this infection is Massaging the prostate. Look at the dirt coming out. Okay. okay. Here do you see the, the art of infection. When I do resection, here I can see it's a deep tissue of pus. I can cut it very great tissue of infection collected here. Look at this is a very large empty prostate duct. Look at the infection collected here. This is not even normal. Here all this part is infection is collected. Normally in the operation, I am resecting this and opening the entrance of the duct and it is cleaned now, but previously if enough prostate massage was done, this would not be needed. This part is a sac-like tissue, prosthetic duct, filled with infection. Oops. Okay, look at this part. When I squeeze, it came out a big infection. These ducts in this patient really full of inflamed tissues. Look at the place. It's, it is uh, trapped here. It didn't come out. So that's why the patient had problems for years. When I open them by cutting, look, Oh, who is that? Look, this is really a big infected case. How long can we prevent this? By prostate massage only. Look at this. Patients, also. Okay, you can see the prostate duct here, the opening of the duct, although I resected. It's not empty, look at this. They are trapped here. So, my aim is to solve this problem without surgery. And it's possible. Before surgery, if I see this patient in younger ages, 
I would treat him with prostate massages and favor. Look at all the infection here. Uh, they are buried. The prostate now normally is here. This is a hidden duct, and we have to resect all of them now. Every place I cut, infections are coming out. I cut the tissue, little tiny infections are coming out. And sometimes there are bigger sacs. Look at this. Of, of course, this is the eventual solution, is that you can have a prostate surgery and can get rid of these. But before the surgery, I recommend anyone to try to have these prostate massages. Look at this infection. You find the source. Yeah, this duct over there filled with pus. Every part. Look at these infections. So anyone, I recommend to have prostate massages therapy for infection before continuing the operation, invasive operation. This is TURP, plasma kinetic TURP. And the, the newest modality is the resume therapy. We can give hot steam to these places, but it can't also uh, clean these tissues as we do now. Them little tiny infections. Yeah. Now here we came to the base of the prostate. We still have some infections here. And usually at the base we find some calcifications. Here also, look at these prostate calcifications. And these are the openings of the channels see some stone-like substances here. These are all obstructing the uh, prostate channels and causing infections. They are the result of infection and they cause more infection. Look at these stone-like structures. It's very montana where the sperms come out and near to next to it we have prostate channels. Look at this stone coming out. There is stone coming out from this channel. Here we see some calcifications. There are all results of infections. These are little stone-like substances. They see uh, like classifications in the ultrasonography. And I think they are the healed infected tissues. Look at this infection coming out here. Mm. Yeah, this prostate has really extreme infection. Some of the tissues calcified here, some still active infections. But this prostate was so big that it's not possible to treat with just massages past that stage. Yeah, we find another foci of calcifications there. When we wash it with fluids, they came out. I have idea. There must be more stones inside on the cutting. Look at them. All of them are because of infection. Wow. This prostate may be treated with it is uh, massaged in the right time. But now it's too late. Look at this calcification.
they are buried and they make disturbance, of course. The patient cannot stay without any irritation when he has such things inside. Look at this. Stones are coming from everywhere. So at first we saw the infected tissues, then near, to, near the end of the uh, ducts. We see that the end of the duct is uh, obstructed with this calcification. That's why it's there not empty. I can barely see the stone underneath the tissue. When I cut it, we see the stone. They are very, I can see underneath. I start, I take them out. Okay, here you see a double, triple, triple foci of infection coming out. Uh, this patient was a real good candidate for uh, infection treatment. The issue I cut, that is coming out new infective focus. find what's inside. I will cut the, this part. There is a duct here. These prosthetic ducts have to drain naturally, but this duct stay closed and infection couldn't find a way out. So it becomes trapped there and makes some symptoms, irritations, such things. 